here for U of MMA with Takashi Munoz, certified Abraham Unis. So Takashi, you were telling me earlier that you had no problem whatsoever weighing in. No, I didn't. Weight cut is one thing I don't get worried about at all because um, I know how to do it safely and, you know, just without the fatigue coming, kicking in later on. And I always start early, so discipline is the first thing that comes to my mind. Who do you admire? It doesn't have to be a fighter, just someone that you actually look up to. The person I actually look up to was my dad. Um, he, he was there ever since the beginning of when I started fighting. And the funny thing is, he, as he was a boxer, he's never wanted me to do this as a career. And, but I told him, I've, this is what I want to do and this is what I want to make my life out of. And he supported that all the way. He was there every time, no matter what, every fight. And he's there with me in my heart till this day. So. You're going to have a big crowd today, so that's good. You can get them to rally you up a little. Oh, believe it or not, I got a big crowd, actually, <laughs> this uh, today. Um, I sold a lot of seats, so, I mean, oh, it's yeah. probably the half of the venues for me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so we'll expect a big crowd, and I'm sure my opponent's going to get sucked into the crowd, too, once my guys, my crowd goes boom. It's going to be exciting to watch. And uh, why you have a mate? Why did you choose this? Um, it's not that I chose it. Uh, Jay Tan, the matchmaker, he contacted my f fight coach. Um, he and he said, "Hey, we have an open slot for you of MMA. Would I like to fight?" And I was hoping to fight at 165, and they they said it's the 170. And I told them, "I don't care. I'll take it. Who's next on the hit list?" Yeah. So that was my. It's they chose me. They came to me. I didn't go to them. Do you have like a full-time job? Just training. Uh, so you're one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually really blessed. I, you know, I, I get up and feel thankful every day that I get to wake up and do what I love to do. Cause how many people do you meet in your life saying, "Hey, I'm doing what I love to do," and I'm really blessed that I get to do this every day. There are some hard ups and downs. But it's to me, it's really worth it. Yeah, you know, it, and one thing that actually got surprised when I was um, talking to you earlier is that I asked you, how did you want to be remembered? And what was it that you told me? I wanted to be remembered as somebody who, like, idolizes. You know? Just so, like, I've, I've, I've been a kid who always loved to watch fights. And I've always said, hey, I want to meet that guy someday. And... I was blessed enough that I got to meet them and train with them and have them invite me back to train with them again. And I want to be that kind of person someday. It's better. It's actually a better feel, like greatest feeling actually to be looked up to. Well, we look forward to seeing you fight and thanks again. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.